Okay, hello my beautiful Blender companion. So I've been creating this uh, weird uh, surreal artwork here. And I thought I'd show you how you can go and create a character like this yourself. So in this tutorial here, you're gonna learn the basic setup that I use to create surreal characters. And if you can like and subscribe, I would really appreciate that. And let's just dive into the murky waters of Blender. Okay, so let's create a surreal character in Blender. And to do that, we need a body. So we're just going to jump over to this site here called Mixamo.com. And this is just a beautiful place and uh, even the nft wizard people uh, are using uh, these characters here to create this uh, art as i've seen him use exactly this one here so uh, and it's also free so here you can just uh, pick a character and pick an animation and just download i have a bunch of tutorials on this on my site but this one is going to be about uh, the surreal aspect of art. So let's just go AX and delete and bring in our FBX file. So I'm going to go import, import FBX and just going to locate my folder. And here, bringing in our dude. So we have a a relaxing animation here as well so let me just bring in a camera real quick and i'm gonna just set it towards his face something like that and uh, now the first step is to remove some parts because we want to bring in another object um, uh, so basically we're gonna cut off his face and um, replace it with something else so here we can just go X and delete the hair and eyes and here you can see that when I selected this head here we also selected arms so if I go X and delete we also delete the arms and we don't want to do that let me just turn on this screencast keys so we want to go into edit mode here and just deselect everything and turn on x-ray mode while going alt and c like that and just box select our face and delete it like that so now we have a faceless character and um, let's bring in our object so i use uh, used a red a glass of red wine uh, as my object um, and so at this point here it's just up to you to be do your own thing and be creative if you want to copy me you can do that but I recommend you to just uh, um, find your inner inner Peter Pan and um, uh, bring some uh, bring some uh, bring the kid kid in you back so find uh, an object that you like and just set it on top of this um, body here. So I'm just going to use a cube. And when it comes to this surreal art style, nothing is really wrong. It's just uh, and everything suddenly becomes cool when you just remove the head of somebody. So let's learn how we can connect this cube here to the armature. And just before we do that, we need the arm armature to be visible. So let's go over to the data properties and into viewport display and check this box here for in front. And now what we can do is select our cube, then select our armature by holding down the shift and then go control and tab like that. So let me do that one more time, select the object 
then select the armature then go control and tab and now we want to select um, the neck bone this bone here because we want the object to be like a head so when you select the bone you can go control and p and set the parent to the bone like that so now if i go back into object mode this uh, cube here is following the motion of the body in a perfect manner like that and from here you can also bring in a bunch of cubes like that and it will just follow with the same motion so that is great and um, you can scale it rotate it and do pretty much everything that you need so the next uh, thing here uh, we want to take it a step further to so say that you have a surreal animation and um, you want to change this uh, animation here so say that this uh, cube boy is holding a mobile phone or an apple or something like that so we want to bring up his right hand and the way we can do that is select the armature go into this pose mode by going control and tab select the armature bone that we want to change and we can go into the graph editor I'm just going to drag up this window here and we can open up this section here and if i zoom in like that okay, uh, sorry can you come back later and uh, not now thank you <laughs> okay later thanks okay so i'm uh, at the hotel in spain and uh, sitting inside and in, uh, in doing Blender instead of going to the beach. So I obviously have a little problem, but uh, let's, um, yeah, let's just continue here. So we have the bone here um, and we want to move it and we can see uh, the rotation. So if I click here, you can see that we get a new outline. So now, we have this line here now we have this line there so from here we if we want to select this right forearm rotation let's just go with this c here uh, we can select one vertice like that and go l and then just go grab and just move it up like this so there we go and uh, yeah so this is the way you can change uh, the armature or customize your armature the way you want it so let's just go back into object mode and see the animation again so now we have the arm there so now it looks uh, completely awkward and surreal so that is good so the next thing i want to show you so you can go and create your own surreal art is to get some control over the clothings so you want to be able to to change the clothings to whatever you want so i'm just going to turn we're going to use evs i'm just going to turn on ambient bloom and screen and i'm also going to do a sky texture so we have some light there so and we can hide this armature by just clicking on it and go h like that and uh, now we want to give this a uh, much uh, more interesting kind of shirt than this so let's just go to the shader editor and delete this uh, top node and we're going to bring in our image texture node and we're going to open it up and I'm just gonna find something weird. So we're gonna use this lemon PNG, and now we can just connect this uh, image uh, texture node into the base color of this principal BSDF, like that. And uh, from here, we want some control over, over the pattern as well. 
and to do that we need the node wrangler so if you don't have that installed just go edit preferences add-ons type in node wrangler check this box here and also the box for autosave so now what i can do is go Control t and i can change this to generated and i can set the scale to whatever I want, like that. So just gave us some control over the shirt. So this is pretty much the way you can go and create a surreal character. So just find something that's a little bit more interesting than this cube head here. And uh, yeah, these principles that I show you are, are the blueprint for creating your own unique surreal character okay my friends uh, time for me to get out into the sun here have a great day wherever you are and peace out